Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. Also, make sure you turn off the water supply to the washer. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the drain hose in an LG washer. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, a flat blade screwdriver, a pair of pliers, and a pair of locking pliers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new drain hose assembly. The drain hose allows the wastewater to discharge out of the washer. The main reason why it would need to be replaced is if it breaks, causing a water leak. To get to the part, we need to remove the top panel. Using the Phillips screwdriver, take out the two bottom screws that hold the top brackets, then pull out the top panel and remove it from the cabinet. Pull out the detergent drawer, press the locking tab and remove it completely. Using the Phillips screwdriver, remove the two screws on the sides of the detergent drawer opening. Disconnect the pink and the white plugs from the control board. Release the harness from the two retaining clips and place the panel on the top. Open the door and using the flatless screwdriver, pry out and remove the outer door boot clamp. Remove the gasket out of the door frame lip. Using the flat blade screwdriver, open the pump filter cover in the left lower corner and remove it. Take out the Phillips screw. Using the flat blade screwdriver, pry out the filter case and remove it. Take out one Phillips screw at the bottom of the front panel. Using the Phillips screwdriver, remove the three screws at the top of the panel. Lift up the front panel to release it from the side tabs. Tilt the panel towards you, push the locking tab and remove the door lock power plug. Make sure the door boot gasket is free and then lift the front panel off the bottom hinges. Using the flat blade screwdriver, turn the plug counterclockwise and unlock the pump housing drain holes. Pull out the plug and drain the water that remains in the washer into the container and then replace the plug. Push the hose in, turn the plug with the flat blade screwdriver clockwise to lock it in. Before removing the drain hose from the pump, put a towel around it. Next, using the pliers, slide the hose clamp up and then remove the drain hose from the drain pump. Remove the towel. Now let's move to the back of the washer and using the Phillips screwdriver take out four screws and remove the rear access panel. After the rear panel has been removed, take out the Phillips screw and remove the plastic retainer clip from the hose. Do not throw it away. 
reach in and remove the holes from the retainer inside the cabinet. To remove the last retaining clip, use pliers to squeeze the locking cap and push it out. And now when the drain hose is free, we can pull it out from the front. This is the old drain hose assembly next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. Bring the new drain hose inside and install it on the drain pump. Using the pliers, secure it with a hose clamp. Move to the rear of the washer and put the drain hose through the opening in the rear panel. Slide on the plastic retainer ring and secure it to the cabinet with a Phillips screw. Clamp the holes into the retainer inside the cabinet. Install the rear access panel and secure it with the four Phillips screws. Place the front panel on the bottom hinges. Connect the door lock plug. And hang the panel on the locking tabs. Secure it with the three Phillips screws at the top. Install the Phillips screw at the bottom. Insert the filter case and secure it with the Phillips screw. Install the pump filter cover and close it. Place the door boot gasket around the door lip. Place half of the clamp into the groove with a spring at 6 o'clock. Place the screwdriver at 2 o'clock. Next, using the locking pliers, stretch the spring and install the rest of the spring into the groove. When the clamp is installed, tug on the gasket to make sure it's installed properly. Close the door and install the control panel. The bottom first and then push the top edge till it locks. Place the wire harness into the two retaining clips. Connect the white and the red plugs to the control board. Install the two Phillips screws on the sides of the detergent drawer opening. Slide the detergent drawer in. Place the top cover on. Slide it forward to lock and secure it with two Phillips screws.
turn the water on, plug the washer in and check if it works properly. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook and on YouTube.